Well, this week, Boeing's favorite scapegoat and Jedi mind tricker Mark Forkner got some good news in his ongoing battle with the Death Star known as the U.S. Department of Justice. But it wasn't all good news for the young Padawan because he still may need the Force to defeat Darth Boeing. That's next on Maximus. Greetings everybody, Maximus here with a breaking Mark Forkner update. So how about all those Star Wars references in the teaser? Not bad, considering the one and only Star Wars movie I've ever seen was the original one in a theater back in 1977. But if you are a subscriber to the channel, by now you're pretty familiar with the ups and downs of Boeing's favorite whipping boy, Mark Forkner. And to be perfectly honest, early on in the Max Crisis, nobody was harder on Forkner than I was. But as time passed and the real story came out, I have to admit I'm kind of pulling for this guy. Oh yeah, for sure he's guilty of many things and has to pay for his role in this whole mess. But for Boeing and the United States Department of Justice to try and lay all the blame on him, well that's just wrong. So Boeing's former MAX chief technical pilot got some good news in his ongoing battle with the U.S. Department of Justice as they continue to prosecute him for his part in the Boeing MAX disaster. This week, the judge hearing the case dismissed two charges against Forkner, who was accused of deceiving the FAA, into certifying the Boeing Max program. U.S. Northern District of Texas Judge Reed O'Connor granted part of a request from Forkner's lawyers dismissing two fraud counts, alleging that Forkner made materially false communications concerning the Max's flight control maneuvering system, known as MCAS. MCAS is a software feature designed to automatically push the aircraft's nose down in certain conditions that could lead to an aerodynamic stall. The MCAS system was the major contributing factor to the fatal crash of both MAX jets in 2018 and 2019. O'Connor ruled that the two charges could not proceed because they must involve a tangible airplane part, rather than the MCAS which is strictly a software feature. O'Connor wrote that the MCAS is an intangible computer code in the aircraft's flight control software. MCAS is not an aircraft part, he determined. However, O'Connor did reject the request to dismiss the other four counts, which allege wire fraud. Forkner was indicted in October on charges of scheming to defraud Boeing's U.S.-based airline customers to obtain tens of millions of dollars for Boeing. As Boeing's chief technical pilot on the MAX program, Prosecutors said that Forkner learned about an important change to the MCAS flight control system in 2016, but withheld the information from the FAA. That led the FAA to delete references to MCAS from a technical report, and in turn, it didn't appear in pilot manuals, which was the intended goal of Boeing all along. Most pilots weren't even aware of MCAS until after the first crash. Prosecutors allege that Forkner downplayed the system's power to avoid a requirement that pilots would need to undergo extensive and expensive simulator retraining, which would increase training costs for airlines. In January of 2021, Boeing agreed to a $2.5 billion settlement to end a Justice Department investigation and avoid criminal prosecution. The government agreed to drop a criminal charge of conspiracy against Boeing after three years if the company carries out the terms of the January 2021 settlement. The settlement included a $243.6 million fine, nearly $1.8 billion for airlines that bought the plane, and $500 million for a fund to compensate families of the passengers killed. So with the fraud charges dismissed, that leaves the wire fraud charges, which I imagine will center around his email correspondence with world regulators in which he lied about the capabilities of the MAX. And honestly, I think a good lawyer will be able to convince a jury that since the judge threw out the fraud charges on the MCAS hardware, it's not a far leap to assume the other charges should be dismissed as well. But that's why they have trials and lawyers. The case is currently set to go to trial in early March. Well, that's all I have for now on a very popular topic here on the channel and in one that I know most of you are interested in as well. And before we go, I want to thank Guillermo de Leon, Antonio Branch, Medic3616, and Christopher Sims for their support via the Buy Me A Coffee app. And also those of you that have been visiting the Maximus merch shops, thank you as well 
You can find all those links down below in the description. And as always, on your way out, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.